NLC Strike Action Atony asks IGP to look into detain and charge Ajero. Ha. So they are looking at possibility of um, looking into the strike action, detaining, arresting and detaining Ajero and charging him for what? Uh, what what are his offenses? After he has he was manhandled, now somebody's asking for him to be arrested and, and charged. <laughs> Let them go ahead now if they think they can handle it. The former chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, Gusau Branch, Zafara State, Bello Galadi, has urged the Inspector General of Police, Kaide Betokun, to investigate, arrest, and prosecute the president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Joe Ajayro. Hmm. The chairman of uh, Bello, the chairman, Bello Galadi Foundation. Okay, the chairman of Bello Galadi Foundation also condemned the attack and brutalization of Ajero in Oweri, Imo State. So Galadi said, I urge the IGP to intensify efforts to arrest, investigate, and prosecute the culprits. Now, in the same vein, I personally do not see any relationship between the assault on NLC president and striker action. So while the assault is personal, the strike is official. So the fundamental rights of the NLC president are enshrined and protected under Section 34, Subsection 1 of Nigeria's Constitution. Instead of the NLC president enforcing his right in a court of law and seeking damages, he resorted to self-help thereby causing unnecessary tension and aggravating the suffering of the masses. So it is unwarranted to shut down the whole country, including schools, offices, businesses, courts, and hospitals because of the personal interests of an individual. So an innocent man from Kirby suffered in an accident that occurred in Nemo. Okay, so it makes no sense uh, to me to punish over 200 million Nigerians for the wrong committed by a few individuals. You cannot fix an injustice with an injustice. So IGP should therefore arrest, investigate, and prosecute the NLC president for actions likely to cause a breach of public peace. This becomes necessary so as to deter other leaders from abusing their offices in future. Uh, Englishman. Englishman. So that means you are saying that the impunity exhibited by this government should carry on because they think it is legal. Okay, so now they created a propaganda and a narrative that Ajayro went to Imo State to support Labour Party for the governorship election. They are not seeing it that he went to meet with the NLC members in the Imo State that have been punished by Governor Hopu Zadima not paying their salaries and allowances and also abusing them in the office. Okay, so they change narrative and they want to use that to frustrate the man. That is not the situation. The situation now has changed gear. It's all about injustice and impunity exhibited by the government. So, so this Galadi, uh, Bello Galadi, that is thinking what is uh, uh, saying is right. Well, let the IGP, Ebetokun, uh, de Ebetokun, go and try his luck. Arrest and detain Joa Jero and see what will become of the country. That is the truth. The revolution that they are looking for or that people are even yearning for, it means that they are the people causing it now because this is obviously going to take a different turn. It's going to be more worse than answers. So that is it. <laughs> I pity the, the the government and I pity people that will listen to, to this guy, Bello Galadi. Okay. <clears throat> there are a few comments here from a few individuals. Uh, let's get into it and see how people are reacting. I know there'll be mixed reaction anyway. Some say politicians need to respect labor unions and workers. Ajero is the president of NLC and he will not be brutalized and you expect workers to be happy. Exactly. That is one part of it and that is a very good one. Some say he was brutalized because of his abuse of his office, although brutalization, brutalizing him was wrong. However, however, he and those that brutalize him should be arrested Persecuted and jailed himself, Abby. Can you imagine? Someone say, God bless you, my brother. You are a reasonable fellow. Who are who is your brother here? We need to understand. 
somebody who is going to prosecute federal government that disobey court order and violate human fundamental rights of the citizenry. Nobody. Because they have the judiciary in their pocket, they can do anything and go away. So I will say, now you get sense pass for this comment so far. We are always having stupid and lack of foresight government in this country. It's the government obeying court orders. They only obey court injunctions which favors them and disobey those against them. How can a country run in such a way and we expect peace to reign? Peace cannot reign now. People will definitely resort to self-help where the judiciary has failed the common man. That is it. No one, Napoleon is always right. <coughs> okay. And uh, he is still angry about the loss of his political party during the last election, so he prefers to destabilize the country. Yes, I concur he should be prosecuted. No, but not really. Nassau. <laughs> At Nassau, Ajore is still bitter. Then suppose Hamar and Vela. Can you imagine? So these are the people that are not seeing anything the government is doing to the workforce. No uh, minimum wage. The salaries are being owed. They are being punished for nothing. And uh, sometimes they put no work, no pay. They go on strike. How, this is dictatorship. We are sliding into dictatorship and some people are supporting it. Oh, wow. And so what has reacted to him? So you sound like a fool. Can you tell us here what was his offense for that assault on him? Nobody, nobody will say anything about that. Eh? So it's, it's quite, it's quite uh, unfortunate that we are playing politics with somebody's uh, fundamental right here. We're also playing politics with the life of Nigerian civil servants who are being punished at various states by their governors and their state leadership. Quite unfortunate, I tell you the truth. Someone said, maybe you should help Tinubu and arrest him. I have known you in this opera with idiotic comments. Not be smart, you know. <laughs> eh? So that is it. They will come and be sorted themselves. So those, this is, this so-called lawyer is a criminal and a terrorist. A useless lawyer that forget that we are not in the military era. Yes. Okay. The analysis are pushing their luck too far. What is not about pushing luck. Let's see where to go. The things that will break this country and break, probably repair it are going to be something of this nature. Things will go sour extremely. Extremely sour first before it will start getting better. So it's, it's unfortunate. Uh, I say, sorry, sir. The assault was not personal. He was on official assignment and duty when he was forcefully extracted, uh, beaten to pop by policemen and thugs. So if the body he precise over deems it fit to go on strike based on that they are right and it is official. Ha, uh, exactly. So, can you imagine? See, Nigeria, eh? Don't go to go save this country. Eh? As I always say, what a showdown with Nigerian politicians and her corrupt institutions. And SARS round two looming. Of course, he's going to get there. If anything happens to Jero, they will get it worse. It will not be as easy as they think. Eh? Uh, somebody says some comments here are based on tribal sentiments. They tell me how can we progress in this country as long as my tribesman is in the helm of affairs, then nothing negatives, uh, nothing negatives he displays that will hurt me. This is so bad. Some cowards are here opening their stinky mouth, condemning the labor strike based on tribal sentiment. Sorry for you people. Exactly, exactly. It's quite unfortunate. So, huh. it's quite unfortunate that uh, the, 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 some people here are just displaying the kind of mentality they have. And they are not that life is better with them. They are suffering. So, thank you for listening. Let's have a comment. That's a call to arrest, prosecute, and, deal, and detain uh, Ajero.